Hi, this is Josh Garrett from Subspect Music at subspect.com and jgarrett.info. And I'm going to give a little uh, preview of some of the automation in uh, Ableton Live 9 and how it differs from uh, Live 8. And there's a couple little things that are a little bit uh, tricky, I guess, uh, when you're coming to 9 from 8, and I'm using a beta version of 9. Um, so one of the big new things that's in 9 is the ability to uh, record automation within clips. And what's different uh, about that is that in 9, the automation can actually uh, change the macros uh, and uh, the other settings within uh, Live um, dynamically as opposed to how it worked in uh, 8 previously, which is it would modulate within the range set by the setting within Live. And uh, I'll just do a quick demonstration to show what that difference is. So I have one track here called uh, Filter 1. And in that, I have a uh, uh, audio effect rack uh, with a number of macros assigned. Now, I have chain selector set all the way up and delay chain set all the way up. And what you'll notice is that the orange and chain selector all is all the way up, um, but there's no orange and delay chains. So that means that within the range here of the uh, um, of the macro, I've got automation within a clip that's turned that all the way down. So I'm going to just show that. So if I open up my synth one uh, here. And let me just play it a little bit. And I look at my envelopes. So I'm going to select Live Filter, because that's the uh, macro level. And then one thing you'll notice right off the bat that's different between 9 and 8 is that 9 shows the macro, but then it also shows modulation under the macro. Now these are two different settings. So if I select, uh, let me go ahead and clear out everything I've got in there. So you can hear the macro, uh, sorry, vinyl D is on now. And also turn it off on these delay chains. So you should hear those come in now. Okay, so now you hear that I've got some distortion and I've got the delay on it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little envelope here and I'm actually selecting the modulation one for the delay chains. And it's looping over here, so let me just... Uh, put a little envelope within the loop area and I'm going to look at the uh, effect track now and you'll notice that the delay chains is modulating within the range set so it can never go above the maximum range that I've got set on this macro here you see the orange is basically taking up a uh, proportion of it Okay, so that's effectively how, well, it's not effectively, it's exactly how um, the modulation worked within uh, Ableton Live 8. Uh, basically, these envelopes would work within the uh, range set within the macro. Now, I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and delete these. So I'm getting rid of the automation or the Live 8 style automation um, from my clip. And I'm now going to turn the delay chains on and select that one instead of the delay chains on modulation I'm selecting delay chains on and this is what's new in 9 okay so I'm just gonna put an envelope in here uh, that moves with the clip oh, uh, so I had a selection uh, of the segment there instead of the point okay so let me drop that back down and let me start this one again and we'll let it move into the loop area and so we can see that it's going to move through these changes and we should hear the yeah, delays coming on there. Okay, so if we come back here, you can see that actually the, uh, the macro itself is changing, not just the amount of the uh, envelope modulating within it. So you're actually changing the uh, the range of the uh, setting so you can use the two in combination and so the modulation moves within the uh, the range set within the macro setting and then the new setting which has the name of the old one uh, from eight modulates the actual knob so let's do one where we have both going so here we have the delay chains on and then I can have my daily chains modulation.
So I'm going to put a little downward spike in here around the same time that it's maxed out. So if we flip back over, what we should see is it goes all the way up, and then the orange goes down within that. The orange goes back up, and then it pulls back down. So there's effectively two ways of doing uh, automation now within uh, clips within Live 9. Uh, whereas previously, your automation would work within the range set for the setting. Um, you can have that continue to function so it behaves the same way as it behaved in 8 using the modulation setting. Or you can have it actually grab the, the macro or the uh, knob or whatever and actually change it itself uh, using the other kind of envelope. So that's the distinction between delay chains on and delay chains on modulation. So that's something that might be a little tricky if you're coming to uh, Live 9 from Live 8 and uh, you have a bit of experience with uh, how envelopes work in 8. But once you sort of uh, you know, wrap your head around a little bit, I don't think it's too difficult to uh, understand what the difference is in the distinction. So thanks again for uh, checking out one of my demos. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff coming in Live 9, and uh, I'm sure you'll have a good time checking it out. Thanks again, and uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to drop me a line.